In this video, I will be going through some question in exercise 7.4 as well as some question found in your N level in the topic of trigonometry. So the question that I'm going through can be found below. And let's start with question 2B of exercise 7.4. So Question 2B is actually very straightforward. It's just a direct application of cosine rule. So what is our cosine rule? Cosine rule is this cosine rule. Let me just write down cosine rule. Let's just recap. Huh? Is a square is equals to b square plus c square minus away 2 times b times c times cosine A. So, what is all of this? A square is the side that is opposite the angle A. Well, B and C is the other two sides that make up angle A. So, let's look at the question. We want to find what is theta. Theta is down here. So, theta is automatically our cosine A which is our cosine theta. Then, the side opposite angle theta is actually 10. Actually, this one everyone knows how to identify, so let's forget it. Let's just go through the thing. Because the only problem that people have is the manipulation of the algebra. So, everyone should be able to get this equation. So you can just calculate this out. This one is 25 plus 49. I'll get 74. Minus away 70 cosine theta. Okay, one, one mistake. Okay, so actually people can actually do until this working, no issue. The issue here is after moving the 74 over, so if I move the 74 over, it becomes 100 minus 74, which will give me 26. All right, so this will give me 26. This one is also not an issue. The only issue here is people might make the mistake of writing 70 cosine theta. Now just take note, the sine minus or negative belong to the 70. So it is actually negative 70. And when we move negative 70 over, this one is actually times times, we move over it becomes divide. So 26 divided by negative 70 is equal to cosine theta. So theta will just be equals to cosine inverse because we bring the cosine over bracket negative 26 over 70 close bracket which is equals to hundred and eleven point eight degree this one is to 1 dp all right so just take note this step when you are moving 74 over the negative will remain with the 70. next question is question 10 we are supposed to find the length of bc so this one is also another application of cosine rule So BC is down here. The opposite angle is one, two, three. So let's call it um, X, all right? So it's easier for me to write. So X square is equals to five square plus four square minus two times five times four times cosine. 1, 2, 3, because 1, 2, 3 is opposite side x. So this will give me x square is equals to 
41 minus away 2 times 5 times 4 40 times cosine 1 2 3 now just take note you can actually use your calculator to key out everything you don't need to do it like what I'm doing right now and you should get 62.786 now this one is to 5, 5 SF then x will be equals to square root of 62.786 and this will give me 7.92 and this is three significant figure all right so this one will be our part a done angle a b c so we want this angle now uh, the simple way out will just be use, using sine rule because now we have this side we can find what is this angle so you have two options one is to use sine rule or you can actually use cosine rule to find out what is this angle for cosine rule this one will be your new angle a while 5 will be your side A but let us do the easy way we will just use sine rule so sine B over the side which is 5 is equals to sine we have 1 2 3 over 7.92 now just take note I would rather write the square root now even though this is not accurate but it's still better than writing 7.92 because this one is actually to 3 SF but just bear in mind when I'm doing my calculation I'm using answer inside my calculator all right so sine B will be equal to 5 times sine 1, 2, 3 over square root 62.786 B will be equals to sine inverse times 5 times sine 1, 2, 3 over 62.786 and B will give me 31.9 so I will round up to 32.0 degree okay so just bear in mind that to give your answer to okay three is not three significant okay, to one dp okay for angle so this one is to one decimal place now for part C, we want to find the length of AM. So what we can do is find out what is the length of this side and we have this angle. This angle we have already found is 32.0 degree. So for this side, it's actually half of 7.92 because they say that this side and this side is, they are equal. So what we can do is 7.92 divided by 2 will give me 3.9619 so 3.9619 is this side now just bear in mind your working you try to give it in five significant figure so part c will be equals to this so this length is actually our a square okay let's just call it a m let's just call it y all right let's just call it y so y square is equals to 
9619 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 3.91619 times 4 times this angle which is cosine 32 Okay, just, just bear in mind you should write uh, the 5 significant figure because I have limited space so I can't write the whole thing. So y square will be equals to this. Let me just figure out what is this monstrosity, man. Square plus 4 square minus 2 times. Okay, so I will get 4.8036. Y will give me square root of this, 4. Point. And Y will be equals to 2.19. Uh, CM. And this is to three sinicum figure. Alright. Okay, for question 18, I actually don't really want to go through that much because it's actually very simple. So you see on part A, they want us to find BD. BD is down here. Same thing, we have 32. 40 the opposite angle we want to find the opposite side so we just apply our cosine rule so cosine rule to find this side then part b parameter of the length so we have this side 32 40 45 we want to find this side again from part a our answer from part a is down here we have the included angle and as well as 45. We want to find the opposite side. Again, you apply cosine rule. For this side. Then we will get the, the length of CD. So after we get the length of CD, remember to add up the other sides. Area of the land, we just use our half A B sine C twice for this triangle as well as this triangle. Angle C is here. Angle C is here. We have the two sides forming the angle. So this will help us to get the answer for part C. Simple question, I don't think I need to go through. For your 10 series, this is your first question. Now, I do not want to go through part A because I have uh, discussed how to prove whether triangle is your right angle triangle in one of the previous video. So we know that this is a right angle triangle. Okay, part B asks us to find this angle. But knowing this angle um, does not matter, we can still find the length of AB when we are given the area of the trapezium. So area of this trapezium, right? So area of this trapezium is 2, 3, 9, 4. The formula for area of the trapezium is half times the height times a plus b. What is a plus b? They are the parallel sides. The two parallel sides which is ab as well as cd. So very simple, 2, 3, 9, 4 is equals to half. The height, we actually know that is 28 because it is 
90 degree or perpendicular to CD. Okay, we have 96 plus D. So what to do is this. We have this is 14 times 96 plus D. 2, 3, 9, 4 is equals to 14 times 96. 3, 4, 4 plus 14 D. This one is your expansion. Then your 14 B will just be equals to 1050. B will be equals to 1050 divided by 14. Alright. So B will be 75. Yep, that's all. Now, for the last question, I will go through 10A, which is actually very simple. The answer requires you to put it as a fraction. Just remember it's a fraction. So cosine. So cosine of x is related to this angle. Let's just call it angle B. Yeah? Let's just call this angle B. So for angle B, right, what is cosine of angle B? Cosine of angle B is equals to the adjacent side is 4, the hypotenuse is 9. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we know that x is 180 minus b or angle b is equal to x. So x is obviously an obtuse angle. So for obtuse angle, the cosine of obtuse angle is negative of its adjacent angle. So the adjacent angle or the acute angle down here is angle B. So since the cosine of obtuse angle is negative of the cosine of the adjacent angle, we just simply put a negative here and we'll get the answer. So cosine x is equal to negative 4 over 9. That's all. So let me write it properly. So answer is just negative 4 over 9. That's the answer. Because if you do not understand, you can just play around with your calculator. You can have just two angles that add up to 180 degrees. For example, maybe 180. Then let's say 120 and 60. You go and cosine the value. Cosine the value. Cosine the value. Cosine the value. Then you look at your calculator to see how they are related then you should be able to understand why cosine x is just negative of cosine b.